making her way to the ring from parts unknown, Dizzy. <laughs> A big fight feel inside the arena right now for this steel cage match. And keep in mind that that cage is not just here to keep these two inside the ring. As we've seen countless times in the past, it can also be used as a cold and incredibly unforgiving weapon. This is a very sensitive subject. And her opponent, from Sin City, Prince Rose. From the moment I heard Frau say I had a clone, I knew that I'd be safe because I'd never be unknown. An evil doctor shouldn't speak a lot about his feelings. My hurt and my pain don't make me too appealing. I don't Scott. Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting superstars ready to square off here. And there's nothing quite like seeing two superstars settling it in the ring and one on one action, Michael. I was a cool guy. Pretend the love I have make me want to cry be evil. But have my feelings too. Change my life with Oprah and Maya Angelou. This guy rejected me. Say that be. Life is cruel, treats you unfairly, even so. Definitely an electric feeling to this venue tonight. For generations, the steel cage match has been considered one of the most ruthless matches of all time. Just striking at will. Championship. At SummerSlam 90, the rivals met inside a 15-foot high steel cage for the WWE Championship. Victory could be achieved by pinfall or escape from the cage. Drop kick! Oh, oh, great height! What a stomp! Good grief! Corey, the 
the WWE Championship match between the Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude was the second half of the double main event at 1990 SummerSlam. The rivalry between the Warrior and the Ravishing One is so deep. She goes for the cover. Oh, nasty impact. And she kicks out with relative ease. And I think more than that, harsh impact. championship goal was decided inside a steel cage in the history of WWE special events. The Hardy Boys were in two of those matches. At Extreme Rules, in order to win the match, both members of the team had to exit the cage and have both feet on the floor. The Hardys used their famous continuity to gain the early advantage until Cesaro and Sheamus utilized their devastating power to slow the pace of the match down. Both teams battled atop the steel cage, but in the end, Sheamus and Cesaro won the race to the arena floor to become new Raw Tag Team Champions. Ooh, what impact! This might be it! Oh, my! Taking a bit of a beating so far, but nothing that can't be overcome. Oh, 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 oh. This might be it! Oh my! Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Oh man, she's rolling now. Just a step quicker, it looks like. Damn it. According to historians, the twisted metal that we see as part of steel cages today dates back 80 years. 
to settle a dispute between competitor Jack Bloomfield and Count Pietro Rossi. The two met inside a ring surrounded by chicken wire. At first, these types of matches were referred to as fence matches. Oh, what impact! Harsh impact! Oh, oh, nasty impact! You gotta believe this one's over! Who knows what's gonna happen? This match could go anywhere! Corey, you gave us an impressive history of the origins of the steel cage match. I'd like to point out to our viewers that from the 1960s to the mid-1980s, chain link fences were used to enclose the ring for WWE steel cage matches. A superstar could win by pinfall submission or by exiting the cage through the cage door or climbing over the top of the cage. We should also point out, Michael, that the way to win a steel cage match can vary by the match. The depending on what was agreed to before contract with the feet the match was signed. Talking about history at WrestleMania 2, WWE unveiled the redesigned steel cage with solid steel blue bars before returning to Chamberlain Cash in the late 1990s. There's a certain feeling that comes over the combatants in the steel cage match once they hear the door close to the official locket. A superstar must know that their body is going to be thrown against the steel, that their face will most likely be raked across the cage, and that anything is legal in this environment. Oh, what impact! We spoke about this earlier, Corey. It's crucial for a WWE superstar to fully understand the gravity of the situation they're in when they battle inside a 15-foot high steel cage. An individual must be ready to endure pure brutality and prepare for the fight of their life. No one leaves a steel cage match without scars. Well, you said something of value for once, and that anything is legal inside the steel cage. For that thing, something else you've seen over the years is interference. Whether it's The Undertaker coming up through the ring, or John Cena getting bashed in the head with the cage door from the outside, it's all legal in the cage. Beautiful technique. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, my. You've got to believe this one's over. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Nailed it. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, what impact. She's getting absolutely assaulted now. We might be looking at the end of the line for her. I think this one's over. I don't know how these women are finding it within themselves to power through here. This is amazing. Oh, beautiful technique. I really can't believe what's gone down so far. This match has been even more physical than I thought it would be. A minor miracle might be needed to overcome this beating. This steel cage match is in the books. And here's another look at what made that match so special. I can remember taking rips by the lake when I got the side. I was maybe 11 or 12 at the time. We were inseparable, but strictly up a time thing. She was a look at her go. you feel good about yourself. With that win of the books, we must now move on.